Hi and welcome back to this course on memories in VLSI. In this video, we will look at one of the most important and highly used type of SRAM cell, which is called as uh, AT SRAM cell. AT SRAM cell is uh, an enhanced uh, 60 SRAM cell with dual port operation. So without wasting time, let's get started with this topic. So as you can see in this picture, I have shown an AT SRAM cell. And as I mentioned before, this cell provides independent read and write operation. So we have independent read word lines and write word line and independent write bit line and uh, read bit line, right? So is, as you can see, the write bit line is the have uh, bit line and bit line pair, bit line bar pair. So the read bit line is a single uh, ended um, read operation, okay? so we will understand more uh, about this, how the read and write operation happens. For a write operation, the data and its complement are applied to the write bit line and write bit line bar uh, bit lines, and the write word line uh, is asserted. Uh, this uh, write word line is asserted, and the bit lines, these two bit lines are precharged high. For a read, the read bit line is precharged then the read word line is asserted. So this will be precharged and the read word line will be asserted. So that, you know, here the same operation, there is no change as that of uh, 60s RAM cell, but it's just it just has an independent uh, right word line and right bit line, right? The operation is similar. The uh, This has to overpower this PMOS transistor and it will try to um, uh, overwrite the cell. But the read is a different case, as you can see here. Read has two uh, transistors, uh, as you can see here, which is adding, uh, which is uh, becoming a T S R A M cell, and this is an area increase, as we understand. But uh, as I said before, it's highly used in the industry, and we need to understand why. Even though there is an area increase, this is highly used. So, what benefit these two uh, transistors and uh, making it separate? Uh, uh, the bit lines for read and write are separate how will uh, and also the word lines making it separate how will it uh, help us we need to understand that right so we can notice that the read operation here which happens uh, which is connected from this uh, output of q this q is connected here right so the read operation does not back drive the state nodes through the access transistor actually if you had remember the, when it was reading uh, if the, this node has to be pulled down then the problem was it was it was trying to raise the voltage here and uh, it would have been flipped the cell but this is a very simple read operation where it's not back driving any of these nodes right it's not back driving any of these nodes and try to create a flip so that brings very important concept of uh, read margin being almost equal to hold uh, hold margin right the hold margin uh, you remember is the margin when uh, no operation is going on be it write or uh, read uh, read operation at that time the margin is very big and when when it comes to read margin the problem was when this node was trying to go up because of that the node uh, margin became very small so noise could really easily go through right so but so the, what we are trying to say is by adding this uh, my noise margin of the cell static noise margin has become very better in uh, reading condition as well right also the trade off between the read margin write margin transistor sizes and the operating voltages limits the minimum operating voltage of the compact 60 SRAM cell. 60 is compact as we all know uh, because it is much smaller than this because it, there are no two extra uh, transistors. But is it good enough? Because at lower technology nodes, at uh, modern technology nodes, we want the cells to operate at much lower voltage. But as we go and reduce uh, voltages further, what happens is uh, there is a trade off between this read margin, write margin. Uh, for a as we know that if if the no, um, noise margin has to be better we need to keep a minimum of uh, minimum 
voltage at which the um, the cell operates so we cannot reduce it much smaller if we reduce it noise can easily get through so those are the issues that we face at 60 sram cell uh, and an 80 dual port cell for a single ported operation you you see that it is a dual ported cell but it does not mean it it can do two write operations or two read operations simultaneously we are saying dual port because two ports are dedicated to read and write okay the read operation only one read operation and one write operation can happen at uh, at, at, at a time but we have a dedicated port for uh, those things but in case of 6 test stem cell it was not dedicated it was shared um, bit lines and word line but here it is a dedicated one so for a single this is a single ported operation but it's a dual port cell right so this cell actually overcomes these trade-offs which I discussed uh, for 60 SRAM cell. It has lots of trade-offs, uh, be it noise margin, be it has to oper uh, operate at lower voltages, and at the same time it has to maintain the transistor sizes. So those trade-offs can be overcome by using this 80 SRAM cell and it allows uh, to operate at lower voltages. That's because we saw that at re the read margin becomes very good uh, by introducing these, right? Because of that, we can, uh, and write margin is independent of uh, that. Write margin is basically, we, we should not allow it to flip in case of write uh, condition. Uh, those are different conditions, but read was much important so that we can avoid by uh, separating and uh, having dedicated uh, ports like this. So this is the reason why uh, modern uh, uh, technology nodes, especially all the industry uh, industries are going for this. Even Intel has moved uh, to uh, 80 SRAM cell uh, uh, after uh, 45 nanometer, uh, less than 45 nanometer is basically uh, 80 SRAM cell, be it AMD or any other uh, uh, chip makers, uh, they have moved to 80 uh, SRAM cell. So, this is about ATS RAM cell and uh, its importance and um, the, it's the most used uh, SRAM cell uh, in the industry. I hope you got some idea about ATS RAM cell and why we use instead of uh, 60S RAM cell. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video and bye-bye.